a household name in Somalia and beyond. Many refer to her as Alan Sida, Somali for the flag bearer. Asli Hassan Abade is by far one of Africa's first female pilots. She made history by taking to the skies at a very young age in 1976. And she tells me it's a desire she had from childhood after growing up in a military barracks. My family lived in an air force base and could see the runway from a distance. I saw flights take off and land at the airport. That is how my passion started and I pray to God to give me the courage to fly my country's plane at least once in my lifetime. Asli will later join the Air Force after completing her studies. And with the support of her parents and commanders, she swallowed her first plane in October 1976. I began by flying Cessna 150. The practice was rather intense and my trainers were confident with my skills and expertise. I proved to be a good student and I would later be trusted with much more advanced aircraft. Asli in her early 20s would successfully be promoted to high ranks due to her exemplary role in the Air Force and later sent to Italy and the U.S. for advanced training. While in the field, Asli tells me she encountered stiff resistance among her male colleagues, but says it's her urge to place Somali in the global stage that motivated her. <laughs> I was part of a team of 10 engineers and pilots sent to Italy. After returning back home, the government sent us to the U.S. to study air transport and fly military cargo. After the training, I obtained a license to fly what is now an Airbus A320. But in early 90s, Asli's career would be cut short, as a devastating civil war erupted in her native Somalia. And the powerful central government under the former president, Mohamed Siad Barre, will be overthrown by armed warlords. Asli, just like thousands of other Somalis, will relocate to the U.S., where she will live there for more than 25 years. Earlier this year, the 59-year-old former Air Force pilot returned to a country she holds dear. But this time, though, there are no military planes near her residence. All of them were destroyed during the civil war. But Asli hasn't had a change of heart. She's still the flag bearer and a strong lady. Over the past years, Asli attended peace talks dressed in Somali flag, commanding respect from politicians while rallying for political stability for her country. My main aim is to empower the youth and women. I want women in Somalia to emulate me and my efforts to make a mark at Somalia at an early age. I'm proud of my history, not just for Somalia, but also for Africa. The former Air Force pilot is now in Mogadishu and wants to play a role in rebuilding what was once regarded as among the most powerful and stable nations in the African continent. Abdul Aziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia. <laughs>